All right, well, greetings and welcome to Infinite Flight School Patrol. Now, the reason for making this video today is because of what happened in Uvalde, Texas during the elementary school shooting. So today I'm going to be flying over S.Y. Jackson, Eisenhower, and Eldorado, where I went to school with APS to see if I could inspire some of our youth to join Civil Air Patrol. Even though I admitted to the FAA that I had mild high-functioning autism and they rejected my application for a third-class medical certificate nine years ago, I will admit that I would like to try again. And, of course, I would like to be an air crew for a while in Civil Air Patrol. And, of course, this video here proves it. I'm going to open up the video with a briefing saying that we will be flying over S.Y. Jackson, Eisenhower, and El Dorado High School. Mission? To get the kids on campus as well as some of the staff inspired to join Civil Air Patrol. My reason for doing this is because I remember once upon a time when Colin Romero came over to my house once and he was playing with guns. I remember one of my friends is in Civil Air Patrol and his father said this. Are any of you 12 years of age? Then you really got considered joining CAP for Civil Air Patrol. All right, otherwise, we will start our journey at Duke City Sunport, and we'll come back to it. And along with that, enjoy a slideshow in the video, which you will see at some point. And today, we'll be flying a Civil Air Patrol Cessna 172 Skyhawk on Infinite Flight, Flight Simulator. This video is to show that, yes, I want to be an air crew member, so I could eventually earn a third-class medical certificate someday. All right, as I go into the video, I'm going to admit that on that one day in, in the autumn of 2013, when I received the word saying that the FAA had rejected my application for a third-class medical certificate because I have autism, which of course is mild and high-functioning, I did not like it, So, and I still don't like it. And I really want it because, you know, that's a part of my life. And that's a component of my life. And I'm not leaving Earth without it. And this video here will prove it because for any, all, each and every one of my officers watching this video, I want you to know this, that the reason why I flew well is because I'm showing you that, yes, I want a third class medical certificate someday. A third class medical certificate from the FAA, as well as, of course, I like to be an air crew for Civil Air Patrol as well. And as you can see here, you know, I'm doing a control surface check and, of course, adjusting the autopilot, as you can see here, because we never teach about the autopilot. And not to mention that, of course, at this phase of my life, for the rejection, it's payback time. And yes, I'm going to win it. I will succeed. And yes, here we are. Doing the walk around. And the reason why I'm starting from the runway is because I'm entertaining viewers. And looks like go time's here. And as of right now, we are going to go to S.Y. Jackson, Eisenhower, and El Dorado to inspire some of our youth to join Civil Air Patrol. Now, of course, as you can see here, since I've been to glider encampments in 2013 and 14, I'm showing you that there's free movement on the control surfaces. And of course, I put the flaps all the way down just because I'm a glory seeker. And I even, I even, of course, released the parking brakes just now because, like I said from before about entertaining others, I do not want to bore you with the taxi face. Oh well, I love to entertain. Alright. So, that was a little bit uncalled for. But, but I corrected that. And remained calm, as you can see here. I've lifted off the ground. And of course... I'm about to set the autopilot as I see fit because from the time being of recording I was flying from an iPod touch and of course you know I 
at this phase in my life don't like computers, especially PCs. So I'd rather play via infinite flight. And note those red boxes you're seeing there, those are landing aids to help me, of course, do the landing phase. And now with the autopilot engaged, first destination will either be S.Y. Jackson, Eisenhower, or El Dorado. Let's just see. Now, if you remember what happened in Uvalde, Texas, from the time being of recording this video, that was a horrible thing. I think just as bad as Sandy Hook. Now, of course, this devastates me because although school is not one of my favorite places necessarily, I'm going to say this, that, you know, I'm still devastated by what happened at that elementary school in Uvalde, Texas. Just a flyby view. And we should be nearing the schools very shortly. Alright, I'm gonna make a turn here because there's also another reason why why I'm choosing to use the autopilot. It's because, you know, I want to be able to get a clear shot of the schools. And not to mention that I course, you know, think that this is factual that even if I fly from an iPod Touch or an iPad, the turns would be too steep. Although I'm going to be making some steep turns anyway, it wouldn't be as bad as when I first flown these flights as practice with, you know, on the iPod Touch. Which, of course, was abrupt. Now, if it weren't for the autopilot here, mission would have ended in disaster. Okay, at this point, it looks like we're approaching El Dorado High School. And, of course, as of now, we're going to look around. While we're at it, everyone okay down there? Same thing goes for S.Y. Jackson and El Dorado. Correction, Eisenhower Middle School as well. Everyone okay? Either one of them? Anyone in there 12? Gonna be 12. Tend to see 12 years of age. If that's always the case, then you really got to consider joining Civil Air Patrol. Alright, I see Eisenhower, you know, as well as S.Y. Jackson. missing a slide, please let me know and I'll see what I can do about it. Okay. John Baker Hoover. And, oh, there's El Dorado. Everyone okay down there? Still great to be an eagle? How about I suggest for your eagle that you join Civil Air Patrol? As well as your eyes and eyes.
sure I'm looking at this whole entire area as well. And I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do a little castle to hop right down the
that's about, but I've been using the autopilot like 10 years ago, ever since I played Civil Air Traction Flight Simulator, and that's where all your smooth flights come from, is exactly the autopilot. waving. I can't say they're cadets because not all of them are in Civil Air Patrol or in the ROTC over there. Also with all the other schools, everyone's waving. <laughs> waving. Alright, personnel in the back, drop leaflets. Same thing will go for Eisenhower. That's why Jackson. Alright, right hand side. Go ahead, drop leaflets. Make sure they land at SY Jackson. Lastly but not least will be Eisenhower. Even though I got the order mixed up, because I technically went to SY Jackson first, Eisenhower second, and El Dorado third when I was with APS for elementary, middle, and high school. So, what we're going to do here now is this. We're going to go to Eisenhower, drop the leaflets, as well as that's why Jackson. Personnel on the right, go ahead and drop them. All right. Pretending that we've dropped them, enjoy slideshow. All right, here we go, landing. My least favorite phase, but, you know, hypothetically speaking, if I was to be an air crew member, like, scanner and observer, you know, I could use help on landing. And in fact, I'm in Civil Air Patrol, you know, and we all have to help each other out. It's just something I would like to do from time being of recording this video. Now, bearing in mind that this is a simulator, I will admit I made a bunny hop landing, which is not very good landing, but at least I got the plane on the ground. Why do you know? I think flight simulator companies did this on purpose, you know, just so you can do better in the real thing, because, yeah, I noticed that when I went to glider encampment in 2013 and 14, I did better in the real glider landing. Now, of course, it's a deal about that. Hmm? I really don't know because, yeah, for some reason I did better in real life as opposed to the simulator. What do you think? Did the flight simulator companies purposely rig things so I could land better? Hmm, what do y'all think? Now I'm aware in the real world that I'm not going to get the landing aids, but what do you know? I think I might do better when it comes to landing. So anyway, as I'm landing, the purpose of this video, of course, is to inspire youth to join Civil Air Patrol. And of course, you know, get some wishes fulfilled, like be a scanner, observer, and then eventually a private pilot license. And not to mention that when I was rejected in the autumn of 2013 by the FAA, I will admit that I made this video as a form of saying, it's payback time. And for the officers who flew with me 
in Civil Air Patrol during the 2013 and especially 2014 glider encampment. Can you please help me, of course, back up. Correction, can you please back me up by saying that yes, I did well in the airplane and I should have it. The third class medical certificate and private pilot license, even though I have autism and high functioning. And I did not show that dedication for nothing. It was to show that I wanted it. In other words, can you please back me up while I'm, of course, doing payback time, as you can see here. As usual, this is a simulator, so... Here comes a bunny hop landing I told you about. It's landing type, you know. It hops like a bunny. The airplane, that is. Now, in real life, you're not going to be pleased with it. But... Yeah, I did not invent infinite flight. Maybe the developers made landing harder on purpose so you would land better in real life. Yeah, I don't know what their deal. Yeah, who? Over here. All that's left to do is taxi, you know, over to the Civil Air Patrol area. And, and of course, I pretty much have the Duke City Airport all to myself from time of recording. Should be awesome. It really should be. Now, as I'm taxiing to the area, I'm going to admit that, of course, when I saw what happened at Sandy Hook, as well as Uvalde, both of which almost 10 years apart, I knew exactly a fix to that. Though it won't fix the problem completely, I knew something that could help put a temporary relief in that. Help our youth join Civil Air Patrol. And of course start preparing them even way long before they are 12. Years of age, that is. And of course, in life you're supposed to prepare for things as well. Like, prepare to join Civil Air Patrol. Because, you know, if I didn't fly over as much as Eisenhower and Eldorado today, who knows what I was going to come out with. Well, probably not a whole lot would I come out with, but... You know how I asked for the crew member to drop leaflets from the airplane. That was, of course, you know, to help curb another Sandy Hook in Uvalde. And not to mention curb another Virginia Tech. Because I used to watch Channel 1 back at Eisenhower, and I heard about what happened at Virginia Tech where some graduate, I think, open-fired. Like, in the graduation hall. That was awful. It really was. Now, helping get our youth to join Civil Air Patrol, you know, could help curb it. Now, I can't guarantee it, but I insisted to fly this flight today to actually try and help curb such issues. Now, I'm automatically going to go into one more thing, because I really don't have much to say as we're reaching the Civil Air Patrol parking area. Another reason for this video is, you know, for payback time. So I can finally get accepted as a private pilot by the FAA, as well as, of course, along the way, be accepted as a scanner and observer in Civil Air Patrol. And above all, help Civil Air Patrol be known a little bit. Alright, since I'm here, that's going to be my show. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, 
share, suggest, comment, and critique constructively. And I will also leave you with a slideshow at the end of the video. Alright, from time being, mission complete.